Hey guys, Dr. Dex here today. I want to talk to you about why we put different posts in different locations on a deck. So this deck we're building right now is really low to the ground. It's so low to the ground that when you build it, traditionally build a deck, you have a beam and you have joists and your joists go over the top of your beam. If you don't have enough space for that, you'll have to put the beam, you'll have to put the joist into the beam. We're trying not to do that on this particular build. So if you like what you see today, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Okay, so basically this deck has a ledger that's on the house and we're prepping that right now. And then we have two areas where we're gonna have a beam. But once one area, there's already a predetermined concrete footing going all the way across. It's in really good shape and we're reusing that on this particular build. But we don't have enough thickness to do a two by eight joist and a four by eight beam, which is our standard construction. So over here, we're, we're gonna reduce down to a four by six beam so that we can squeeze everything in so that the beam is underneath the joist and the joist can span over the top of the beam. That's like our typical construction. As you can see, we have five locations on that run where we're gonna put our beam in. We had, to, we had to bring those closer together because a four by six beam will not span as far as a four by eight beam will. So you'll notice on this section here, we're running a four by eight beam and we only have four brackets. Well, over here, we actually are lower, so we'll be able to put a thicker beam, which will span further. So we only have to have post locations in four areas instead of five. Now the beam back here is basically gonna sit right on those brackets. And the beam over here, we're gonna have to put up a small amount of post before we can put the post in the bracket and then the beam on top of the post, okay? So we're using a four by six bracket on this side where the four by eight beam's going because I want to use a piece of four by six coming up to attach to. Over here we used a four by four bracket. Uh, we could have used four by six brackets as well, but I didn't feel it was necessary. It'll be just fine that way. And there's one extra in there to decrease the span. So we're less than six feet in between. Now always check with your engineer if you're not sure about structure or about beam loading or spans. It's always wise to check with a professional to make sure that you're doing the right thing and having the proper span in between posts. But just thought that this would be a great video for you to understand the difference and why one set of beam only has four posts and the other set of beam has five. All right, guys. So I hope you learned something today. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Don't forget to ask a question below and leave a comment about our uh, videos. Thanks for coming to our channel. I appreciate you. Have a great day.